Hello, brothers and sisters of Black and Dark. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. My page is about common sense. I try to keep my minutes down to 10 minutes or less than that. Sometimes I go over a second or two. Please forgive me. You know, but if you have any questions, you put it down below. And it's good on the light and it's also good on the dark. You got to make sure you're not blinded by the light because what you read, instead of believing in yourself with common sense, you just believe in a book, okay? You know, a book, okay? But other than that, you know, you can listen to people and be brainwashed, okay? But I'm not trying to brainwash you at all. I'm just trying to tell you, you are unique in your own fashion. <laughs> now, okay, this video is going to be about do good men, see I'm being very specific, do good men leave good women? Okay, now, now in my past videos, I've explained what types of women. There's different types of women, different types of men, but I try to narrow it down as best as I can. You know, each one has certain characteristics and certain traits. Each one has a certain characteristics and certain traits that fit in certain um, 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 boxes, okay? You put things in boxes and you can organize things a little better, okay? It's like white and black people are two different peoples, okay? Chinese and Asian are two different people, okay? They may have some serial similarities, but there are some big stereotypical differences, okay? Now, okay. Now, a good man, okay, depending on the man, okay, because there's different types of men out there. Okay, when you say good men, okay, I've seen, I'm I'm, talk, I'm making this video because I've seen a video in which, you know, the, at the same title, okay, do good men leave good women, okay? But then it, it, it's, I think it says, uh, do men leave good women? I said, sure they do. It depends on what type of man he is, okay? If he's a good king-like man, he should deal with a queen type woman, okay, right? You know, fall for your type. I got a video about that too. Fall for your type. I think, I, I don't know where I tagged it, you know, but I did make a video, fall for your type. I also had a video where the numbers, the level of attraction, you know what I'm saying, you know, Darwinism, that shit is true as fuck, okay? You know, naturally, if you have a sex, if you have sexuality with you, you might as well deal with someone who's your number. You know what I'm saying? You better deal with someone with your number. But if you are really horny and shit, you're a female, you tend to go for anybody, okay? But that's that's another subject. I already talked about that in the past. But anyhow, if a man is good, you know, is the man um highly attractive? These things have to be taken into account. You know, you can't just say if he's a good man or not. Probably the woman is not a good woman. Probably she's not a, a really a good woman. She's just an ordinary woman, okay? Now let me let me put it down here a list down so we can get this out of the way real clear. No good man or even an evil man will ever leave a good woman. Okay, all right. There's something wrong with her. All right. Keep, I'm going to say it again. There is no such thing as a good man, a truly good man. The word is truly, truly, or king like, king like man would ever leave a good woman. Never. Now, an average man, okay, man, yeah, yeah, an average man. There's a whole bunch of average men out there, okay. I'm a king like man, so I, I say if I say something, do something, you're gonna do it, or, or, or I won't deal with you, okay? That's the king like man, the man who takes charge. I'm everything you possibly ever need. I'm a little bit controlling, but I'm I'm funny and I'm also sarcastic and a little bit of I have a sex appeal with me, okay? So I don't care what you think, okay? Now, okay, king, uh, uh really good man, holy men, okay? The holy men are the king men, king's men, but then there's another level right underneath that king. So if he's a king's man. He is the most perfect man ever. He's the most holiest thou you can't. He won't leave a good woman. He'll he'll gather more women, okay? <laughs> a real good king, you know what I'm saying? Gathers more women. While just an ordinary man, okay, you know, an average man, it's kind of skeptical. He, he, you know, he could be a good guy, you know, but he'll change his mind over time. But kings actually know what the fuck they want, okay? A real man knows what he wants. He'll tell you right there before you even deal and open your legs. Okay, I'm gonna say it again, okay? King-like men and very good holy men will tell you what they want before you open your legs. So it's impossible for them to leave you if you are obedient and you're a queen, okay? Or you're a virgin, okay? I told, talked about this before. Queens are more likely not to be so experienced with a whole bunch of men, okay? Queens are dragons, okay? They keep to themselves, you know, but they got, they got sexuality down there. Yeah, they get horny sometimes. Why do they play with themselves? I don't think they use dildos. They should, y'all, y'all women who are queens don't lose no dildos. Don't keep it tight. 
That shit does change if you keep going in and out and shit with the fucking nine inches or ten inches in the pussy because you lonely and shit. <laughs> but if you're a queen, you wait. You know how to wait. You can play with yourself. But don't go too far. Don't go too far. Women's bodies change, baby. This is statistical facts. Okay, now if he's a kid, now I'm going to say it again. Okay, So we got this out of the way. I'm after five minutes. This video is going to be really short. No such thing as a king like men or a holy man, because they both are the same, but some men are more like Muslim people, holy men, I'm holier than now. I don't act like that, but I'm just like, I do need a certain amount of respect. I'm reasonable. I'm a reasonable king, you know, but I'll give you some, um, you know, compromising ways so you can fix your problem because usually the women usually have the problems in relationships, not the man, okay? The man only needs to be, you know, uh, craved and respected in the bed, out of the bed, and you got to have something to do with your man. I mean, a lot of women don't do things with their man, okay? All right? You know, so I talked about that before. I made a video about how boring women are. They don't come up to the plate. They don't have a lot of things to offer. The only thing they offer is between the legs, and that's not good for the four king nor a holy man, okay? You got to have some substance. You got to have some some open-minded wisdom. Most women don't have that, okay? They don't have that open-minded to listen to a man in each little detail because it's the woman who chooses the man to sleep with, not the man who chooses to sleep with the woman. The woman chooses to open her legs up to that man. So it's going to be, it all falls on her because she chose that man. So let's say you chose an ordinary man, okay? You don't know guys, you don't know jack shit about this average looking man, okay? He could be a highly attractive average looking man, okay? Most men usually tell you straight up off from the door what they want, okay? A good man, a wise man, a king's man, a holy man. Do you understand what I'm talking about here now? Now, if you have an average looking man, or a just an ordinary gentleman, you know, a white man, could be a black man, Asian man, everything must be put on the table before you move forward. So there's no such thing, like my queen, she says, uh, she said, we will never leave each other. I said, I don't know about that. She's starting to act like a fucking fool sometimes. She actually thinks that she's all that in the bag of chips. Sometimes she gets a little mouthy with me, but I told her before she got here, everything is 100% with me, baby, when you come to America. You understand that? Okay, there's no way I'll bring a female into this country and I don't have 100%. Get the fuck out of here. Kings do shit like that. Muslim people do shit like that. They'll, you get stoned, okay? You get stoned to death by fucking with the holy man or the wrong type of holy man, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, there's no such thing as a good king or a great holy man or whatever, the, both both two brackets, is going to leave a good woman, okay? A good woman means that she's good in bed, okay? That's one. Number two, she has good rapport. She actually respects her man at the highest, utmost, high, highly, highly, okay? You, you're a good woman. You highly respect your man. You know, but that's really a queen, though. Most queens really highly, but there's good women who are not really good women. And that's what I was trying to say to you before. If you're a really good woman, you you have good potentials. You you have you make compromise, right? You know, if you're a good woman, you compromise. So he won't, you know, shit. You can say to him, hey, you know, I'd rather you you can talk to another female. I want to share. You know, what I'm saying that's a good woman. You know, but a queen woman would automatically know what a family is about. A queen woman would automatically know what. <coughs> <laughs> what a king needs and a holy man needs, okay? That's the queen. A good woman may not be all that good, especially if she doesn't have a good communication with that good man, okay? I mean, with that great king or that great holy man. Because good men, they tend to have some sort of aid stability. Good women have some instability. So they're really technically not really fully good, okay? You understand what I'm saying? So if you're a true queen, you're perfect. You're, you have no problems with goodness, you're a king, you have no problem with perfectness. If you're a holy man, you know, because some people, you know, think they're really holy than they are. And sometimes I feel that way, but I need the respect in order to respect you, okay? You understand that, Sam? That's not a high demand. That's just facts. Now, good people are everywhere. Good people consider themselves Christians, but that's a lie. You know this, okay? So, a great man, a great king man, or a holy man will never leave a great queen, okay? All right? Queens, okay? It's only queens and good women, and then it goes down the list. Good women, I already told you the definition of what a good woman should be. She should be a queen. And if she already had sex, she's just a good woman, okay? She's already busted, okay? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? You already had sex, okay? That decreases your value as a queen. Peace. And love to you, brothers and sisters of light and dark.